So let me navigate to where I would like for you what we're talking about. This is the actual in the book with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to about section 3.3-8 in our book. Here's the file input output. And if you scroll down, of course, you read through all this, but the area I want to capture for us to um, I'm going to use a snippet tool. I'm going to snag it. Uh, I'm going to snag uh, the the uh, the part that we will have on the screen, so I don't have to flip back and forth in this thing. So I'm just going to you know minim just minimize this here with it, and then we're going to come over to back to that instructions for that step by step cookbook with it as well. Now this is one of those problems that you're going to have to um, follow exactly step by step on where you're going with this. So when you load this up with it, you're welcome to follow this. Of course, ignore all this because I did this on a, on, a, on a previous run before with it. So I'd like for you to start with your skeleton, your your first three lines, you know, put in what you normally put in your name and all this stuff with it. And then this course number is COSC 1436, um, you know, whatever section that you have with me. And then this is just put in the third line here is your, this is um, lab three programming exercise number th uh, one, okay, with it. And you can walk and put the page in, whatever. Okay, so start with your skeleton in this thing. And you could go in, um, uh, excuse me on that. So you can go in here in this thing right here. And and put in your skeleton. This thing, so of course, you include IO stream. Start with this. Start what you do now. That instead of just looking at it and and int main function, and this is your okay. Now. So let's start with line by line with this thing. And I'm going to toggle between. It says uh, write your header files, uh, fstream, string, and ionif. So put this in after this section right here. All right. So if you want to come in here and just follow along with it and just make your pound include fstream. Now this parallels exactly what we just talked about is include your header file fstream in these five steps to read in an inter external file, write out an external file. So the first one you're going to do is the F stream. You can do it with it because anytime you're reading an external file in and then you're going to process it and output it to an external file, you need a header file. The second file that they tell you you need is, is also it's called the string. So pound include anytime with you use a string objects. Uh, you got to use the string library files with it because you're manipulating objects with it as well. The third one is the I pound include uh, IO manip, short for manipulation, with it. And this is this is the one that actually would round off. You're going to use a, a, a set of instruction. It's going to round off to the nearest tenth or set position by two, meaning it's going to set uh, to round off in the thousand hundredth position, uh, which is the cent, by the way. All right. So this takes care of part. 1A, if you want to document this, you can say this is 1A, all right, uh, with it, and that's fine. Next, it says write a statement that declares an in file to be an IF stream, and then the other one is going to be the uh, IO, the other one is the variable out file for the IO, uh, IO stream as well. So hold on a second. Sorry, I should turn off my phone. Telemarketers. Uh, so let me pick up where the second one is. It says write uh, a statement that declares in file to be an IF stream, which is in file stream variable, and out file stream variable to be an OF stream variables in this. So in here, I'm going to refer this back to the five steps, which is declare your file stream variables. This is step number two. So if you want to come down here, now again, in the past, we've done something like a C in, C out. So what you're trying to do is you're doing what's called a C in, which is equivalent to IF stream, and out file is equivalent to a C out. 
Okay, all F files with it. So we gotta associate, this is where step two comes in right now. So the way how you do that is you start with IF stream and you're gonna use the in file, what they ask you to do, that variable, and the out file stream, and you're gonna do that as an out file. Now how do let me clarify this? You get to use this because IF stream comes from your file stream library file. Out file stream, you get to use that because of your file stream variable with this. So this is equivalent saying C in, and this is equivalent to saying C out with this. All right. So that's very important for us to do right now with it. Now, uh, so that you can comment that out and say that this is step number, I don't know, this is uh, number letter B. So you can comment that and just do one B. That will tell you that with it. Let's do that. Max, it tells you the program will read the data from an indata.txt. Now, this is the indata.txt it created for you when you first open this up. In real life, you have to use a notepad and type this up exactly what they give you in the book right here, which is Giselle Robinson Accounting. Giselle space Robinson space accounting. Next line down. And, hold, and they describe to you in a second in step D with all these mean. But you purposely, you want to compile your source code to read in your indata.txt, and it's going to output, it's going to generate an outdata.txt. And you need to write a statement that will open both of these files, associate the in file in data, and associate the out file to the out data. So that takes place here. So let me come down here. So let me talk to you about what, what we're about to do. Again, this is, I'm just going to, before I do this, this is 1C. And we're going to come down here. You're going to associate. I mean, you're going to have to create this file, and you're going to have to associate with it. So this in file, again, is the new variable. So you're going to do in file with a dot syntax to access the if stream. How do you get to use if stream? Because of the file stream. So the dot syntax, note when you use a dot syntax, this is the dot syntax after the in file, you're going to do the word open with it. So you're associating the external file is the in data dot text. Okay, which is this file right here. So make sure you put a semicolon after it. The second one they tell you is that you have to associate the out file and you're going to open that. You haven't output to this file name yet. You haven't created this yet. Once you create this, it's going to generate an out file. So this is what you don't see is this. This is what you're trying to achieve is the out data uh, file with it. And that out data looks like this, by the way, exactly the output they tell you to, okay, with this. So this is what the output looks like. All right. So come down here. So this, this is about 1C. This is all about 1C at this time right now. Let me check the time on this thing.